What's up guys, Tommy with Studio Scents here. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be talking about a fragrance that's been out for a while. It's garnered itself a bit of attention. The cologne to which I'm referring is of course Burberry Hero. Now while I've already done a first impression of Burberry Hero, I've not done an actual full on review. In other words, put it through the paces, take notes, kind of get an idea of how long it lasts, its performance, what kind of scenario I think it's best utilized in. So when we return, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We've got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone to my full on review of Burberry Hero. I'm not super in the know when it comes to fashion, but I do know enough to know that Burberry is on the forefront of many fashion designs. In fact, they're responsible for having one of the coolest commercials you'll ever see on TV. Kind of put Burberry on the map in terms of a lot of people that had never heard of them. And then came 2021, which is when Burberry Hero was released. While Burberry had previously released several fragrances like Burberry London, which is a great holiday festive kind of fragrance for cooler weather, they also have Element, several fragrances that are actually not bad at all. This was the first time, kind of their first foray, breaking into the fragrance for every man. So this was designed to be a signature scent, to be their big cash cow, but was it just a cash grab? A money grab? Well, as it turns out, regardless how anyone in the fragrance community feels, any fragrance reviewer like myself on YouTube, feels about Burberry Hero, the everyday man actually really likes it. It is a very popular fragrance. So let's talk about it a little bit. First of all, the shape of the bottle is mimicking a horseshoe, which makes sense because there's a horse in the commercial. So that's kind of a masculine, energetic, equestrian presentation and pretty cool representation there. The lid itself is just a plastic lid. However, it is a magnetic cap, which is always a nice addition to any presentation. It's not what I would consider one of the best magnetic caps. You know, it's kind of funky fitting. On the top of the cap, you do have the Burberry logo. On the bottom of the bottle is an adhesive sticker that has the batch code along with some other additional information. But it's a very simplistic bottle, albeit a very masculine, heavy weighted bottle. The, the glass on the bottom and the sides is very thick. And then you've got this very light tan or light brown juice. In black, it just simply says Burberry and Hero on the front. Very simple, one could even say utilitarian, but with a specific purpose because this is supposed to, again, be a signature scent worthy fragrance. Something that you can spray on and smell great, go out and do whatever you're gonna do. Anyone asks, you've got Burberry Hero on. So let's talk about the notes that are in Burberry Hero, and then we'll talk about the performance, and then when it's best to wear it. Burberry Hero is a very woodsy fragrance. In fact, that's its primary focus is on woods because you have three kinds of cedar. You've got Himalayan cedar, you've got Virginian cedar, and you've got Atlas cedar. So cedar is pretty much its focus. If you like cedar as a tree, if you like cedar chests, then you've got an idea of the woodiness of the fragrance. And yet it goes a bit further. What keeps the smell of cedar buoyant, voluminous, is black pepper. But you can't just have a fragrance that's woodsy. You gotta have an introduction first. The introduction or handshake in this case is bergamot, which is often used in men's fragrance. Bergamot is one of the most often used fragrance notes in both men and women's fragrance, but particularly men's fragrance. Smells very similar to a combination of lemon and lime, kind of the best aspects of both and it's very prolific and it's great in fragrance. So you've got this introduction of bergamot that goes straight for the woods, the three different kinds of woods there, but what keeps it kind of growing, voluminous, and gives it that projection is black pepper. Black pepper is used in a similar vein that ginger is often used in men's fragrance to give it body, to give it breadth, and that's exactly what it does in Hero. Despite the nod towards luxury with a magnetic cap, again, not that great of a magnetic cap, the spray is just average. So it doesn't have that great of a pump, but it does spray a good bit of juice. It's a bit more powerful of juice than you might give it credit for. It is an eau de toilette concentration. They did add pine needle, benzoin, and frankincense and make an eau de parfum version which is a great fragrance in and of itself. Just talking about the EDT, there is some really good performance with this, better than what you might think. So if you're gonna be wearing this, if you've never worn it before, 
what you basically want to do is you want to give one spray to one side of your neck, one spray to the other, and then you are literally set for a good eight hours. I don't mean that on the eighth hour or even the seventh hour, it's dialed back to a skin scent and no one can smell you. It's still creating a great scent trail and providing a scent of woods, specifically woods in your wake as you're walking. So if that sounds appealing to you, you definitely might wanna give Burberry Hero a try. Despite what you see in any review, despite what I say, despite what headline you see about Hero being a letdown or cash grab or just not that great of a fragrance. It's popular for a reason. People like how it smells on other people. Women like how it smells on men and that's what's creating the popularity and the cells. Very simply in terms of performance, you're gonna get a good eight hours out of this fragrance. Anything after eight hours is probably just gonna to be too light really to pick up on your skin. So you might wanna dose yourself with another spray if you're gonna be doing something for longer than eight hours. Now it is a signature scent, so it is neither specifically for summer or specifically for winter. There's a happy medium there in the middle distance. But I will say this, heat adds some additional life to the fragrance. So you might add another half hour or extra hour if you're going to be sweating or in the midday heat wearing Burberry Hero. And it is a lightly sweet fragrance specifically in heat. So be careful how many times you spray if you know you're going to be doing something where you're going to be sweating because it can tend to overpower you at that point, like a lot of fragrances that were made to be signature scents. It is not what I would term a specifically casual fragrance. You can wear it casually, but it also has, I mean, let's face it, woods are a classic smell. Woods themselves is a classic scent profile that many people, most people are familiar with. You can definitely dress it up if you want. It's appropriate for that. It doesn't really matter. You wear the fragrance how you want to wear it. I'm not gonna say that it's specifically for casual or dressed up either one. I would say it splits the difference 50-50. When Burberry Hero first came out, one of the biggest negatives was the price. Anything when it first comes out, it's expensive when, when it's full retail. But then after a good amount of time, usually within six months, it's dropped to a discounted rate. Hero is still popular enough that it's not super cheap. So while a lot of people will dog this fragrance and say it's just a Burberry cash grab, and in some ways it may be, it's still getting pretty positive feedback from everyone who wears it, everyone who smells it. So you make up your own mind. I actually like it for, you know, a woody cedar fragrance with a bit of longevity to it, a bit of good performance, which I would say moderate. It's not bad, and hitting those needs, striking it straight through the middle, gives it versatility, which a lot of fragrances don't have necessarily. Overall, there's not really much negative one can say about Burberry Hero. I do think that between the two, Burberry Hero EDP is the better fragrance, but then you lose a little bit of that versatility because it's specifically for cooler weather because it's a heavier, denser fragrance. Hero is a very super simple linear fragrance. It opens up with a very brief introduction of bergamot. You get a little bit of black pepper that already kind of raises the stakes. Those cedars are seamlessly blended together to make a very pleasant masculine fragrance. The pepper is there to give it a little bit of volume. And while it's not listed as a note, could be a combination of patchouli and vetiver or just vetiver, but it adds some more body to the fragrance and a bit of elegant dry dryness to it. So while it's casual, that bit of elegance leans towards being able to, to dress up a bit. The bergamot is short-lived, goes away, then you're straight on into the forest. You're just in, you're straight up in the woods with Burberry Hero, but that's not a bad thing. You're not lost in the woods. It's very familiar territory, and while not necessarily being something extremely different, it's like hearing a story that you've heard before, but it's pleasant, so you sit and listen to it anyway, even though it's, you know, there's nothing about the plot or the narrative that's going to be super new or exciting to you. It's very familiar territory. There's comfort in that familiarity. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for my quick rundown and review of Burberry Hero. I think if you haven't tried it, you should give it a try. You know, don't listen to the naysayers out there. You know, make up your own mind. You will enjoy it just as a very simple, linear, woodsy fragrance because that's pretty much all it is. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video review.